views or opinions expressed in this video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect those of any other person or company. Well, hello again, good people, and welcome back to Merry Old England. In fact, we're in North Devon, and we're going to take a short trip from the Royal Marines Base Chivner, Echo Golf Delta Charlie, down to Eagle Scott, Echo Golf Hotel Uniform, flying over the pleasant rolling hills provided by Ortho for XP. But of course, we're not specifically looking at the scenery. Today, I will be reviewing a little aeroplane which, although it's part of an important heritage for GA aircraft, I suspect that many people, especially outside the US, may not have heard of it. So here we are. This is the ERCO uh, Coupe 415C, a light two-seat GA aircraft with a 75 horsepower engine and fixed propeller. This model has been produced by XPFR, the Association of French-Speaking Creators. Well, that's nice and specific. The aircraft was created for X-Plane 10 and to give good frame rates on low-spec computers, but it does play nicely uh, and looks great with X-Plane 11. The freeware package contains a wheeled, float and skid versions uh, five liveries, all of them 2K textures, uh, which I'm cycling through now. As you can see, they all look pretty good, uh, but I particularly like the clean aluminium job, uh, so much so that while I was researching the aeroplane, I took the trouble of popping out the 2K external texture and converting it to 4K and cleaning up some of the blurred details. So that's the one I'm going to fly today. So let's hop in and see what we have. OK, so quite simple but serviceable textures. The instruments are also simple with uh, RPM, oil and fuel gauges on the left. Flight instruments in the middle uh, with electrics and comms below. You might also notice that there are no rudder pedals, just a foot brake. More on that later. In the real aircraft, the window pulls out of the door and fastens over the head. XPFR have uh, missed what might have been a nice animation here, as you can't close a window, so it seems uh, our pilot might get a bit cold. So let's get it started. The documentation is of course in French, so if like me you're limited in language skills, you'll have to use Google Translate. Not necessary for starting of course, it's all very simple. So the first thing to do is turn on some electrics, the battery, magnetos, uh, fuel valve and the pump. Uh, put the throttle in a little bit and press the start button. And there we go. Let it settle down a little. Get the radio and the nav light on. We'll set the radio to Chiffner Tower, which is 130.20. Okay, headphones on, and we'll call the tower. Chippena Tower, Foxtrot Kilo, Hotel Alfa Romeo, VFR as filed, request taxi to active. 
Foxtrot Alfa Romeo, taxi 2 and hold short of 09. Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 09, Foxtrot Alfa Romeo. Right, parking brake off and let's get going. Landing light on. Foxtrot Alfa Romeo, you are cleared for takeoff on zero nine. Cleared for takeoff on zero nine. Foxtrot Alfa Romeo. Okay, uh, throttle forward and uh, let's get this party started. Okay, I'm going to turn to the south and uh, we'll be flying down the river Torridge, passing Appledore, Westwood Ho, Biddeford. Oh, by the way, did you know that Westwood Ho is the only place name in Britain that has an exclamation mark after its name? An interesting fact. We'll climb up to about 1500 feet and uh, just settle into the cruise. So why is this aircraft important? The Okoop was designed by Fred Wyke, I hope I pronounced that name right, uh, for the Engineering and Research Corporation in Riverdale, Maryland, and the first one flew in 1937. The last one was made in 1950. Over five and a half thousand of Okoops and 
the later mark, the air coupes were produced, 2,000 of which are still flying, so quite an achievement. The company wanted to encourage people to learn to fly, and when asked, people said they wanted the aircraft to be as easy to fly as it was to drive a car. So they did away with the rudder pedals, and instead linked the rudders to the ailerons. All you had to do was turn the yoke, and it would coordinate the turn. The air coupe was way ahead of its time. It had trailing link tricycle landing gear to cushion the landing. This was copied by other manufacturers and even the military. The twin tail and full length ailerons made it incredibly safe to fly and it was marketed as unable to stall or spin. It was cheap as well, just $700 and you could buy it at Macy's department store. Wow! As I have already mentioned, you could also get ski and float versions, although fixing those big boat feet to the bottom and made it very much spinnable, and not as safe as the manufacturer claimed. If you want to learn more about this aeroplane, I would encourage you to look at the YouTube video Fearless Flying, the Urkut Story. Okay, we'll change the radio frequency to Eagle Scott, which is 123.00. Eagle Scott traffic, Foxtrot Tequila Hotel Alpha Romeo is no coupe, 10 miles west of airfield. My intention is straight in approach and full stop, runway 07. We'll call when on final, Eagle Scott. possible with no flaps on this aircraft. Foxtrot Alpha Romeo, short final on 07, Eagle Scott.
build, by the way, is by Scottish Wings. I'll leave a link in the description below. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the flight today in the uh, Coupe 415C. The model does have some flaws, for sure, but it's well worth downloading and placing in your hangar. I'll put a link in the description below. So, with that, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.